Yo, what's up? It's your boy D-Money. I am bringing you five decks, five awesome decks to try out on day one of the new season of Marvel Snap, Big in Japan. This season is starring Daken as the Battle Pass card, and Daken is a 3-4 that on reveal adds the Muramusa shard, the Muramasa shard to your hand. It's a 1-1, one, one, and when this is discarded or destroyed, it doubles Daken's power. So Daken will go from a 3-4 if he is just regular to a 3-8. And if you buff him up before the shard is discarded or destroyed, then he will double. He'll just he'll just double. And if you double it twice, then he goes to a 16 and it gets a little crazy. Um, we have some awesome decks to go over. I'm going to put the timestamps at the bottom so you can go around to whichever one you please. And I hope that you like the decks if you try them out. I'm going to be playing every single deck on my stream tonight when the season releases. About an hour after it releases. I'll be playing all the decks. going to be trying it out. It's going to be a great time. Hope you come by. Link is in the description. I will also have all the links to the decks down below if you want to check them out. And uh, this is my Daken Destroy deck. So just going to start it off with a regular Destroy deck, just classic Destroy stuff. Um, we're going the Deadpool route. Uh, so we got Hulkbuster in here. Hulkbuster actually synergizes really well with Daken as well uh, because it will make him a 9 power. And then he will become 18 power, which is really, really strong. We do have the Taskmaster in here to couple with the Deadpool, of course. Uh, for that final turn and yeah just a classic destroy thing nothing to uh really note here it's just it's just uh destroy with dakin he destroys everything next up we have a discard deck with dakin so it's basically like a classic apocalypse discard uh, i i usually do run gambit in this list instead of moon knight but since there's going to be a lot of destroy players uh, i figured moon knight would be better and there's also going to be a lot of killmonger so normally i would play sunspot in this deck but I opted to take him out and just go for the heavy discard package, throw Daken in there, and we're going to see how it does. Next, we have a Daken with Surfer. Whenever you see a three cost that's going to be into Marvel Snap, you always think immediately uh, Surfer, Silver Surfer. And I mean, Daken seems to fit in pretty well in here. Uh, I only have one way to really activate, and that's Killmonger. But if you get that off, especially with the Nova, Nova, if you play it first before the, uh, the, the, the Shard, he will get to a 5 power, then he'll get to a 10 power, which I think is pretty neat. And yeah, I mean, Killmonger package is pretty nice in general in this deck with the Nova. You still have all the tech cards that you really want in here. Could consider adding a Shadow King somewhere. Maybe instead of Polaris, I'm not sure. But uh, yeah, this is the Silver Server list with Dagon. Got the Mirage in there to maybe steal our opponent's shards. I thought it was kind of spicy. Uh, basically, instead of a Jeff, uh, trying out the Mirage in here could help us curve out as well. You never know. That's the plan. Next up, we have Daken has multiple shards. I have a good. I was getting a lot of people wanting a Moon Girl Daken deck, and I was really doubting it at first. But once we started building it, uh, it started looking pretty good. It's pretty spicy. So we have a. This is like a discard. This is a discard deck, and with the Moon Girl, so we could copy not only these shards for Daken, but also you could copy like Wolverines and then discard them. You could copy. Uh, gambits, you can copy morbs even. Like, there's a lot that Moon Girl could actually do that's pretty cool with this deck. And I'm very excited about this deck. I mean, the Wong Mystique thing might be overkill, but we'll have to see when we try it out. Last up, we have the Daken Killer. Of course, a lot of people are going to be playing Daken. So if you want to play something that's going to beat that, maybe you don't have the Season Pass, or maybe you just don't want to play Destroy, which is totally reasonable, or Discard, uh, then this is the Daken Killer, in my opinion. This has armor and Cosmo, which are going to be necessities against that destroy archetype. We also have some lockdown potential with the Professor X. We have Mr. Fantastic to spread his power across the lanes to give you that priority so that you can armor and Cosmo before they get their uh, their kills off. And then, of course, we have uh, Jean Grey. It's an it's a ongoing deck we got here. I opted to knock over Spectrum since we don't really have so many ongoing. We have a decent amount, but I really like the Destroyer package, the Destroyer with that armor, with that Cosmo. And Jean Grey is actually pretty nice. I actually really like Jean Grey in an ongoing deck. I really like it with Nebula as well. You play Nebula on a different location. You play the Jean Grey, so they have to play over there. Nebula, Nebula will usually proc. And then cards like Warpath are really nice onto that Jean Grey location. Also, Mojo uh, fits really nicely into that. Uh, Jeff, you could play anywhere, of course. Spider-Ham, I think, is actually going to be really, really nice in the meta. Uh, it's going to do well against the discard decks, so Apocalypse, of course. Uh, it's going to destroy the destroy decks like Null. It's going to get rid of Null, Taskmaster. 
even could put in some work against the Dark Hawk decks that are running rampant all over ladder. It can uh, transform the Dark Hawk, could transform one of those uh, very good four costs that they run. And yeah, this is the deck. I think it's pretty nice to counter Dakin. I think ongoing in general, like especially the armor and Cosmo, like I said, will do a very good job themselves. And that's all the decks that I theory crafted with chat on stream tonight. I hope that you give them a try and let me know down below which one is your favorite. I would love to hear from you. Uh, personally, I am very invested into this multiple shard kind of build. I really like it. And I really love the uh, discard archetype in general. So very excited to play with the regular discard deck with Dakin. I think it's gonna be pretty cool. If you like the content, please subscribe to the channel. Thank you for watching. I'll see you in the next one. Peace.